Hi there. Well, in my impetuousness, um, I've kind of just cobbled together the CNC machine to get it working. Uh, honestly, it's going to look a lot better than this. Anyway, I've got out the, the XP45, brand new. Um, I've wired in the plugs, so I wired in, oh, excuse me, um, wired in the air. Um, just bought the earth clamp on there for now. Uh, there's my mechanical stop. Uh, here's my bed. Obviously, it's going to be a water bed, a uh, water table at some point. Um, this is the Omic sensor. Again, it's all a bit Heath Robinson at the minute. Um, professional motor clamp, all done there. Uh, what I haven't done is on the other side. I need to put the other one on because we've got not a lot but it's a bit of wobble when the machine's moving you'll see because um, I'm going to demonstrate it in all its glory now uh, so it's driven, been driven by that one motor um, I think it's fairly well located uh, it's only half on uh, we need to adjust that but we can, we can sort that out later uh, so that's all set up the X is set on there nicely uh, I haven't bought an Omic cap so I've used a Jubilee clear, yay! It works, that's the main thing. You can see I've been prattling around. So, the XP's on. Uh, let's go to that. All of this is wired in now. Um, that was a bit of a confusion. I didn't know why you'd loop it, but I'm just following the instructions. That all works well. There's the Y2 that needs mounting in a minute. Um, everything else is as it was on last video. We're gonna cut out this shape. Oh, you might not be able to see it, but there we go. So, I've got the Omic, it's all working properly, so uh, let's give it a go and see what happens. So here we go. See the Omic sensor working nicely. I'm not going to see the jagged lines because of the wobble because I haven't got the second mate yet. You're going to get that. There we go. There's the part. In the hole, too hot to touch. But there we go, it's mounted. I mounted it using tight brackets here. Not ideal for, uh, for you know, breakout uh, part clashes and stuff like that, but uh, it works. So there you go. Compressor's a bit noisy in the background, but uh, you know, got to have plenty of air, and that's certainly what we've got. So what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to get the other motor mounted and see if that improves the cut quality, stop that juddering. Um, it is really obvious. Uh, you. The reason I know it's that motor is because this is a cut I done earlier and it's not three bad. I mean you can see a little bit of wiggle on there but as you get further down the end that hasn't got the motor that wiggle gets progressively worse. So yeah it's there um, and you can kind of see it. So we need to stop that and the best way to stop that is to mount the motor. So. Get the drill out, get the taps out. Um, although it may not seem, I'm trying to do it as uh, professionally as possible. So, um, you know, for instance, block connectors will not be used. Bits of tape will not be used. But I just want to make sure that it's cutting what it should be cutting and how it's meant to be cutting it. And just make sure that everything works. Uh, there's no point spending hours and hours on stuff that you're not sure whether it works. And then you've got to make modifications and changes. So. So that's what I'm up to anyway. Um, hope you enjoyed that. It's kind of fun for me because it's the first time I've lit one up for, oh, a good while. Uh, so there we go. That's it. So if you like it, uh, you know, please hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, and subscribe if you've stumbled upon me uh, and you like the content. And uh, bear with me. I'm going to see what I can do to fix this other motor now. Got to run out some wire and some other bits and pieces. So 
may take a while, but uh, I might be able to tag it on to the end of this video. Anyway, take care now. Cheers. Okay, so this is going to be a mic bizarre. I'm actually cutting parts out for the machine with the machine. So what I'm doing is I'm remaking these ugly babies um, and making them out of the plates down there on the floor. Too hot to touch. So I just thought I'd show you. Uh, hang on a minute. So here we go. And if we go to contact, here we go. Now this is the machine cutting bits for the machine. I'll show you the machine cutting bits for itself. Catch you later. Cheers.